This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Chodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And, um, you know, this lesson is going to be on to persevere or perseverance. All right, to persevere or I may title it perseverance. And uh, let's look up those words there, which I'm gonna look up persevere. All right, you see on the screen, I have the background where it says to persevere, patient endurance of hardness, patient endurance of hardship, persisting in a state of enterprise in spite of difficulties and discouragement. You know, and that's truly, um, that's truly a fight that we go through in this wicked society, all right, in this flesh while serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Patient endurance of hardship. You know, it's hard out here, man, all right? Once you've woken up to this truth and you have the truth, everyone else that's outside of this truth is a liar, okay? And they ain't right. So dealing with them, you know, you got to expect hardship, you know, jobs, your situation, the cars that you've been dealt, you know, is either the Lord, you know, or is the world. Now you can, you know, be in the world and you can have the finest things of life, but that means you got to give your spirit over to it, you know, work two or three jobs, go to college, you know, for a amount of years and work hard you know, to try to, you know, find your career, all right? Or if you're an athlete, you know, you're training, you're working out, you're giving your spirit into it, your life, you know, it's a sacrifice. And maybe you just might be successful here, man, you know? But in its truth, we give our spirit to the Lord and our life and sacrifice for the Lord, you're gonna suffer, man, all right? Because there's work to be done, okay, in the truth. And this world is not godly, okay? This world is wicked. So now, you know, a precept come in mind is how uh, the Lord said, um, well, the scriptures say that uh, when one depart from iniquity, uh, he make himself a prey. And I'm roughly paraphrasing that, all right? When one depart from iniquity, he make himself a prey, all right? Because this world is, is given unto Satan, all right? So to serve the Lord, you're gonna go through hardship, all right? But if you was of the world, you know, you're gonna have pleasure. You're gonna have fun, man. You're gonna be comfortable. But the, but the, um, but what happens is when you of the world, and being that this world is crumbling, you're gonna die with this world, okay? You're gonna die with this world if you choose this world, man. You know, this society is coming to a crumble. You know, you know, Biden signed the executive order and uh, now it looks like we're going digital, okay? Which that digital leads into the prophecy of the MOTB. So they're joining everyone into the, you know, into the government so that the government can have full control and data over everything you do, all right? So it's either you for the Lord or you for the world, man. And we of the whole four leg were for the Lord. And it's not because we chose the Lord, it's because the Lord have chose us. And this is why we, we say here at Great Millstone, you know, we hope, you know, to be of the hopeful elect. All right? The hopeful elect. You know, I'm just doing a little talking, a little more talking because I'm trying to get across the street. So bear with me, man. You know, before I start looking at my phone, you know, I want to get across the street. So give me one second. All right, so, um, you know, the Lord has to choose you. He has to call you. And when you're called in his truth, you have to, um, you have to fight, man. 
all right and do a hardness as a soldier so let's get back to this what i was going to do i was going to look up the word um to persevere and it says persevere this is a google search continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success so to persevere is to continue in a course of action you know what is our course of action serving the lord all right putting out this truth doing the works of yahweh bashim yahweh shot so it says continue in the course of action even in the face of difficulty and it's very difficult in this world pushing this truth you receive a lot of hate you know you receive a lot of hate because everything starts through the spirit you know you got people in your family you know your woman your children whoever it may be all right through the spirit they're going to come against you all right they're going to talk shit about you all right because it's spiritual man all right them demons that's on them they're gonna come against you because they ain't right and that's why they ass is gonna be destroyed man because they don't know Yahweh shot okay they're gonna be destroyed for that man so that's why we gotta endure hardness and we have to persevere it says continue in the course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success it seems like you're not you know getting to where you want to get to and that's the kingdom because you know put the success as the kingdom you know because the lord is the timekeeper he's the time clock and according to bible prophecy every prophecy has to be fulfilled so we have to uh uh long suffer man all right patience which the word patience means to suffer. And we're waiting upon the day that the Lord established us with that power. He activate that power in us, man. Because the scriptures say they shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. So therefore we have to persevere through all difficulties, man, and keep pushing, keep going. You know, there's a reward, an everlasting life, man. Through your house shy, man, an everlasting kingdom. All right, a new body for you, bro. All right, and you few sisters, man. You know, there's a kingdom for you, a righteous kingdom when everything is in order. And that's what we're persevering through, through all the difficulty, the hardships and trouble. So back to the, you know, the, the uh, background. I'm gonna read that again. To persevere, patience, endurance of hardship, persisting in a state of enterprise in spite of difficulties, and discouragement you know you got to be careful of seducing spirits out here lying spirits this is why you know your true family is those who do the will of the father and that's what Yahweh Shai said when his mother and his siblings came to inquire to speak with him and he was in a camp teaching he turned around and said who is my mother who is my brother and he put his hands out and he said those that do the will of my father showing you who your true family is because we all are one accord we all have the same mind. We're all, you know, seeking the Lord's uh, glory, man, that he's going to receive. We, we, we want to, you know, we want that righteousness, man. Okay? So brothers have, the, have their, your best interests, man. They in the world, all right, they're going to they gonna talk shit and they're going to want your death, man. They want blood, man, because they ain't right. Satan is all over them, you know? So discouragement, you got these fucking scoffers, you know, you know, which we're not discouraged as scoffers, but some may be. You got young brothers in this truth just coming around, trying to learn the word, you know, and you watching these different camps, you know, trying to figure out what camp got the truth, you know. Well, you're supposed to stick with one camp, man. All right. Find that camp and stick with, you know, and learn. All right. Learn the truth. But what happens is with young young guys, you know, you got demons that have come and kind of, uh, what you call it, um, uh, offend the little one, you know? You know, here it is, here have a false doctrine and um, make you not believe in the whole book and the truth that you heard.
you know? So it is a form of discouragement. You get discouraged now. Now you don't want to go out to the camps. You're ashamed of your Yahweh Shah, you know? Like you had that one joker, Elder Apostle Taha put up maybe a week ago that uh, he was with the vo on the vocab uh, 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 video, well, being interviewed by vocab, and he said he don't establish himself as a Hebrew Israelite, but he believe that we're those people. See, that's a damn oxymoron. He don't want to be labeled, you know, he don't believe in the 12 tribe chart, all right? He don't believe in calling himself a Hebrew Israelite because he don't want to be labeled, you know? Because he, he has, he's ashamed of Yahweh Shah. And mainly, really, you watch the video, he's an Old Testament nigga, you know? He's one of them guys that don't really believe in Yahweh Shah, you know, at the end of the day. So now, I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but hopefully this lesson is edifying. Let's look up, um, let's look up perseverance, all right? Because it's a little slightly different, but persevere, perseverance. Now, this is a Google search for perseverance. It says, persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. And that's all, you know, in this truth while serving the Lord, we're looking for the kingdom, man, all right? We're looking for Yahweh Shai. You know to crack those clouds all right to return so we're fighting for our crown all right so let's go back to the book of job chapter 1 verse 12 it says blessed is the man it's like you it says blessed is the man so like you okay james 1 and 12 blessed is the man that endureth temptation all right the root word of temptation is tempt you know you're being tempted by satan all right, to tempt you. And it says, for when he is tried, because you're being tried of your faith, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So the heavenly father promised us, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the father and the son, promised us an everlasting life. All right, he promised us a kingdom here in the earth. So let me read it again. Blessed is that man that endured temptation. So blessed is that man, all right, even woman. That believe right if she endure okay because a lot of you women you know you're fickle you fall short every time but there is some women that are the elect and some and the scriptures prove they endured okay they had a you know one scripture uh what's that in maccabees when uh the mother she had a stomach like a man she took her death you know to honor the heavenly father man to keep his ways his laws all right even when her children was put to death all right, they all, you know, believed in Yahweh and they took a death, you know, to honor the Most High, man, to prove that the Most High exists, you know, and she had to stomach herself like a man. All right, because normally, you know, I bring this up because women, they're fickle and they're easily, uh, uh, they're, they're not, uh, they don't have integrity, you know, most of the time, the majority, and they're easily to scare and and you know they're the weaker vessel but there is women out there that's of the elect all right so it says blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which is really a physical crown okay that yahweh shah is going to put upon the men's head the men that's going to receive that crown not women but men all right that hundred and forty four thousand all right men that governing body of yahweh shah they're going to be crowned by yahweh shah uh, Edris saw this vision all right that's a prophecy it says which the Lord have promised to them that love him all right so I'm gonna read another precept and what I have here is just a few precepts that I jotted down for perseverance so I'm just gonna run through them and um, Lord willing I pray you're edified man so let's get my next precept this is the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 1 therefore being justified by faith we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. By him also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. So even through tribulation, we 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 glory, okay? Especially when you um, you know suffering for the Lord's namesake, man. We glory in it, you know, because we realize when you're suffering for the Lord's namesake, 
that, you know, you're doing an honorable thing and you are partakers of the Lord's sufferings. So that means that if you're partaker of the Lord's sufferings, you're going to receive the glory that Yahweh shall receive, man. So that's why we glory in tribulation. You know, and another, another thing too, it's the Lord allowing us, he's, he's pouring, pouring upon the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit on us, you know, to actually, you know, uh, 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 strengthen our minds, man. You know, when, when we're down and seem, and seem counted out, you know. When you seem counted out and down, you have a broken spirit, a contrite heart. The Lord comfort us with the comforter, man. His word, man. All right? And you glory. You end up smiling, laughing, you know. You end up feeling good inside and your spirit is uplifted, man. So let's read the scripture again. Romans chapter 5 and verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Ooh, it said work of patience, work of sufferings, you know, because we're suffering. It says in patience, experience and experience hope. So through our sufferings, we gain what? Experience. You see? You see? You gain experience. Now you know things. Now you retain, you know, a form of wisdom, you know, because you have experience. You know, you know how to make the right decision now. You know what's good and what's bad. You see, we all have experience, man. That's what we have in this truth. That's why it's a journey, man. You know, it's, it's walking through the straight gate. All right. So it says, and patience, experience, and experience hope. You know, which hopes conquer all, man. I forgot what the brother, what the uh, brother Shalama said in one of the camps a few weeks ago. And he went into the uh, hope. And there was a saying he said, you know, um, uh, I forgot what he said, but he made a good point, man. I wish I could remember. But um, but he was talking about um, uh, hope and how hope, you know, and there's scriptures on it too, you know, that uh, how hope conquers uh, everything, man. With hope, the devil has to flee from you because you still have hope. See, Satan and these demons, what, what, what their job is to do is to get you to not hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But guess what? If you have hope, Hey, you conquered Satan, man. You conquered those demons. <laughs> now they got to leave from you, man. Because it ain't going to work. All right? That's why hope is key. Hope is an anchor, man. All right? Faith is key. Trusting in the Lord, man. And trusting in the process. It's just a process, man. You know, sometimes you got to go through the grinder. You know? But trust the process. Once things get grinded out and things get sorted out, then you start to see the perfection. You start to see the shining, you know, the, uh, you say, let's say if you uh, you uh, polishing a certain ruby, you know, looks bad, you know, but then you start polishing it, you scrubbing it, scrubbing it, and then you start to see that shine, man. And we want to shine as that light, all right, which is of your shot, man. And hopefully the Lord find us worthy. That's important. So let's continue. It says, verse 5, and hope maketh not a shame. Woo! I gotta, I gotta get in that because, you know, that's what them demons want. They want you to feel ashamed of what you're doing. You know, you're wrong. You know, you don't see what you don't see what you're saying. That's wrong. You know, why, why would you do that? Well, because I believe in your how about I was shy, and I know that this is the right way, and what you're doing is wrong. But you got demons out here, wicked two thirds. All right, they want you to be ashamed, man. They want you to do things according to this world, you know? They want you to uh, be politically correct. You know, there's a certain um, uh, thing of this world, man, where even women, they, they got this thing of men, when men supposed to be chivalry, we supposed to be simps, we supposed to be feminine and not show masculinity. You know, we supposed to let them get their way. You know, you got this thing in this world with niggas, that niggas expect you know, when they see another, another Israelite, they expect him to be a nigger. You see what I'm saying? There's a certain thing in this world, you know, from, from, from the men, even to these women. You got men out here that are niggers, straight ninjas, man. And when they see you because you're young, they expect you to be a nigger. Go to the job, man. And, they, and the dude gonna start talking about all the sports, because that's what men do. But if you 
let him know that you don't know you're not watching and you're not down with none of the things that they expect you to be on they're gonna look at you like yo you weird man what's up with this dude man because they're expecting you to be a nigga man a ninja man oh you don't smoke weed fuck you don't watch basketball damn you ain't got a team damn the fuck and where the hoes at damn you know what i'm saying they're going to look at you like that, man. So there's a thing going on, man. And we're not a part of that shit, man. All right? That's also a part of the suffering. That's that division. I did a lesson yesterday. How Yahweh Shai said he would bring a sword. That sword is to bring division. We are divided. We're not the same, man. Okay? And it's beautiful. So call halal la Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. That we're not the same. I don't want to be like these niggas, man. I don't want to be... Uh, uh, classified in this wicked ass culture Of black people man <laughs> You know <laughs> And I don't hate myself I'm an Israelite man You know I'm just saying because our people are fucking destroyed man You know I despise you fucking niggas man You know and you wicked ass women You're a disgrace to your own race man Anyway Salakia man I'm getting passionate so It says and hope maketh not ashamed Because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit Which is given unto us That's what I said <laughs> You know Now I'm just having fun man I just The Lord allowed me To say that before I read this scripture How he sends forth the Holy Spirit Okay So let's read it again And let me uh, calm down It says And hope maketh not ashamed Because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad In our hearts Which is our minds And it says By the Holy Spirit Which he giveth unto us so that's what comforts us, man. You know? So we can what? Persevere. Have perseverance, man. Perse perseverance, man. Right? So let's move on. I got Ephesians 6 and 18. And um, I'm not going to hold you long. I just want to hit these scriptures. So I'm almost done. It says Ephesians 6 and 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right, so we always got to pray always, all right, praying always with all prayer and supplication. And uh, that word supplication, like uh, the Apostle Gabar went over years ago in one of his lessons, it means to beg. So we're literally begging the Lord, man. We're, we're, we're pleading with the Lord, we're begging him, we're asking him, you know, we're crying unto him. You know, bring the kingdom, man. Make things right. Deliver us. Relieve us of this pain, you know, this fucking nightmare we're in change us make us perfect you know it says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints so it's important that we watch all right we got to be active to be in the lord you have to be active man okay you got to be active you can't be those israelites that only worship the holy days you know the men these men stop prophesizing and all they do now is worship the holy days and think that they're active in the truth. No, nah, you're not active, man. All right? You're lukewarm. You know? This is Galatians chapter 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. It says, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. All right, especially unto them of the household of faith, which is the body, the whole four elect, man. All right, you got these other guys, these fucking weirdos, you know, this dude, I ain't gonna say his name, but y'all know the two knuckleheads and the main uh, uh, ringleader, you know, for the gates of hell, all right? The guardians of the gates of hell, they talking about uh, that King David is alive today and we gonna see him soon, you know? You got one guy talking about the uh, angels are talking to him and all that, man. You know? They're talking about that the ministry just started. So all the camps are, are the house of Saul. But they themselves are not the house of Saul. They the house of David. You got a bunch of fucking bug outs, man. Fucking dumb knuckleheads, man. No. The house of David is being built as I speak, man. All right? And you know the house of David by their speech, by their word, man. By holding fast to this truth, believing in Yahawashai. How in the hell could you teach Yahawashai and be a wicked Pharisee? Them wicked Pharisees at the time didn't believe. Just like on the other side, you had 
Pharisees that did believe, man. Okay? You know, everybody's a Pharisee. The camps are wrong. And there's a new uh, uh, ministry in the earth that the Lord is bringing. And he's opening their minds unto the true house of David. These niggas are crazy, man. We're at the end of this day. We're at the end of this damn thing. You know, this fucking wicked society, man. What the hell are you talking about? So all the works that the brothers did, the apostles did, and bringing this out for you to know that you are Israelite, okay? For you to know the name of the Lord, which you still use. How dare you, man? You know, that's that's disrespectful to your Hawashad, man. Little do you guys know. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. It says, especially, let's read 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. <sighs> And it says, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So you got to do good, man. All right. To the men, especially those of the house of faith. That's why the scriptures say, be peaceful with all men. You know, we're not looking for trouble. All right. But when we speak this word, trouble, trouble happens, man, because it's your house shot. All right. But we're looking for peace, man. Okay. So this is my last scripture here. Oh, I got one more, two more. It says, first Peter is one and five. Who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if needs be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation. The trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing. Of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach, man. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashimah Shah. That's beautiful, man. All right. That's First Peter's, the first chap, the first chapter, the fifth verse through seven. Now this is my last scripture. This is Second Timothy chapter two and twelve. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, we also, he also will deny us. You know, and that's just straight to the point. All right. Persevere, perseverance. You know, suffering through the difficulty to get through it not giving up man you know we got to cleave unto yahweh and and depart not away excuse me we have to cleave unto yahweh bahashim yahweh shai and not depart away man all right and trust the process trust in him you know matter of fact i'm gonna read that real quick this is the book of um it's the book of Sirach, chapter two and one my son if thou son my, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure. Persevere, perseverance, and make not haste in a time of trouble, because trouble is coming, Jacob's trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did ever any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in a time of affliction. All right. So, uh, you know, Lord willing, pray this lesson was edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, you're going through your trials, you're being tried, man. You know, and like I said yesterday, I had a lesson, uh, you know, based on, you know, you know, without, you know, outside of the brotherhood, you by yourself, man. So this is like kind of like a continuation from that spirit, you know, the Lord poured upon me to do that lesson in because we got to have, we got to endure hardness as a soldier, you know. So, you know, pray as the scriptures say, pray always, man. All right, with supplication to the Most High, you know, let him carry your burdens. Scriptures also say, put off now the weak nature. So it ain't time to be weak. We crying out, man. All right, and it's time to get strong. So pray for the Lord for strength in the mind, man. You know, 
So, Lord willing, pray this lesson be edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.